we are in a balcony cabin or veranda room on board Disney's Magic. So let's give you a quick room tour. First of all, we will start in these cupboards here. We do have a safe. So if you open these up, got a load of life jackets up here. Obviously, these rooms can accommodate up to five people. Plenty of hangers, and you've got a safe down here, which is free to use. And you've also got a bag for your laundry as well as the laundry ticket so you can sign how many items you need to be washed etc etc on the other side of the wardrobe have all both of these doors at the same time again more storage area and plenty of space to store a large suitcase there as well now let's have a quick look at the bathrooms yeah you dan managed to close the um the doors i couldn't close them i don't know why i think i just done it wrong can't even close the door properly. Anyway, this bathroom, this is kind of like the first bathroom in here. I do quite like the lighting in here. It looks like I've got a tan. I haven't. Um, so you've got a nice big kind of silver sink with your H2O Beauty Sea Salt hand soap. You've also got a hair dryer. Now I absolutely hate those hair dryers. I don't know why, um, but powerful enough. Um, the toilet is obviously your standard cruise ship toilet flush behind the um, toilet seat. You've got some toilet roll. You've also well, in here we have, you've got a bin, you've got a lot of these um, Disney monogrammed towels, which I absolutely love. You've also got a sharps box down there too, and you've got some nice little storage areas just to my side. Um, there's not really a cupboard, I thought this was a cupboard down here next to the toilet, it's not. It's kind of just a bit of empty space, um, but plenty of storage area in here, so I do like that. The good thing on this ship, you might be wondering where the shower is as well, as I come out of this bathroom, I have another bathroom just to the left of it and in here similar kind of setup apart from obviously the toilet itself so you've got plenty of towels I've never seen this many towels even in like a hotel room just given to you I've got loads of towels again you've also got another sink so you've kind of got a his and her sink or well two sinks I'll probably use the other one down we'll use this one this is gonna come in a treat for me makeup um, but that's quite cool they give you a little um, Flannel there for your makeup, and you've got some body lotion, some H2O body lotion, and they've also given us some soap. Just behind me is the bathtub. Now, on vlogs, it looks quite big, so I might have to get in there. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to do it. Right, so standing in here, you do have a shower. Shower looks quite good. I'm obviously not going to turn it on right now because I've got my clothes on. More racks, and you've got your H2O products there. So you have a body wash, you have some shampoo, and you also have some conditioner. So all great that all comes with the room. And this shower, oh, this is gonna be tight. Let's have a look. <coughs> this isn't gonna be glamorous. So no, I don't think you can have a bath in here. I'll show you why. It is just a little bit tight if you want to have a bath. Um, great for kids, but for me, I might just sit in here later just for fun while I shower because I can't be bothered to stand up. But yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the bathtub. As I just clamber my way out of the tub itself. Um, I do like the shower curtains. You've got your kind of inlay shower curtain in this one. And again, that's got a Disney pattern all over it. And then you also have another one, which is a fabric. Um, so you've got two kind of shower curtains, if you like. Love it. And I'll step back out here now. So as you walk out of the toilet, obviously I've got the main bedroom behind me. On this kind of worktop kind of space here, you've got uh, four glasses and obviously a nice little picture of Mr. and Mrs. Walt Disney. You've also got loads of storage, you've got loads of cupboards down here. But we're only on here for two nights, so you probably won't unpack. You might just leave everything in a suitcase. Um, but if you're going on a two-week cruise, it's perfect. We also have an interconnecting door. We don't know who's in that room, so that's going to remain locked for the duration of the cruise. The bed looks massive. I haven't actually laid down on the bed yet, so I will do that, obviously, in a bit. Or should I do, should I do a jump? Oh, I don't like jumping so I weigh quite a bit so I don't want to fall through it so I might just do a nice little like oh, that's good enough I don't know if it's because I'm laying on top of the duvet but it's such a soft bed so I think I'm going to sleep well in here anyway on with the tour on the right side of the bed you do have a telephone you also have some plug outlets they are US plugs um, so if you are traveling from Europe or the UK you will need some adapters you also have light switches and you have an aircon control. It is quite warm in here today, but come with me, come with me. On the left hand side of the bed, you have an alarm clock, and again, you have more outlets, but they are in use because one is charging or, well, powering the alarm clock. But you have some nice reading lights too. 
separating the bedroom to the seating area you do have these curtains so these would be quite good especially if you are traveling with a large family to separate the room off into two um, we may or may not use them because we do like to look out of the view when we are on board a ship and then coming around this way tv screen my first thought is if i'm lying in bed and i want to watch tv am i going to be able to see it thankfully it pulls out and also turns so that's going to be quite handy if i can get it back in <coughs> again more storage areas underneath the television you do have a fridge in this cupboard so we're going to unpack our drinks in a minute we take on a couple of bottles of wine so we've taken some drinks on they're going to go in the fridge to start cooling down for later on tonight and again you have more storage and this kind of desk space here you do have some more power sockets up there you have a us i think you've got a europe up there as well a european um, adapter and in this top cupboard you're also given a hairdryer so if you're not a fan like i'm not of the ones in the bathroom you've got a hairdryer in here as well which is a lot more powerful and then coming over here as i said earlier this room can accommodate up to five guests so you have this large sofa it's a three-person sofa but it also turns into a um, sofa bed so you can accommodate three more people on this sofa too so coming out onto the veranda balcony again you do have this netting and you also have some blackout curtains as well so we'll test those out tomorrow so it's meant to be really sunny this door is a slidey door so open sideways and as you come out here watch your step it's actually quite a large balcony so you have two chairs and you also have a table i like the fact that on this ship you do have your railings in front of you but they are protected by glass or kind of like a thick plastic obviously there's a lot of kids on this ship and our view at the moment isn't great because we're in the middle of the thames um, but let you on tonight we'll be able to sit out here and chill for a bit before going up for dinner and it'll be kind of nice and relaxing it's also a very deep balcony so you have a lot of space out here so if there is more than two of you you've got plenty of room up here to be able to relax on your balcony so hope you enjoyed watching this room tour if you did give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below and you can also find out all information and itineraries and menus from this cruise on georgiandan.com see you later